if you're going to use daily pay for your work, uh, which is a special um, application, uh, you can use it on a computer or from your phone. And uh, you can get daily pay, weekly pay, every other day pay, whatever you want, or just have it for emergency in the event you need it. Say you need a tire. Say you need gas to get to work. Uh, say you got to pay a bill um, before payday. You can do it. Now, it, I'm going to tell you up front, the first, right now, the first uh, transfer is free. All other transfers are $2.99 each until you get like 15 transfers and they give you a special hi. Um, and they give you a special, like a one free transaction or something. Um, and uh, the way they do it is they give you like half of what your balance is. Hey, Roxanne. And uh, Wayne's here too. Yay, yay. Um, and so uh, it's it's a neat option. Um, it was really a good start during the pandemic because, you know, gas got so high and then gas stations were, you know, closing because they couldn't get gas. And, you know, the gas got up really high in Florida. It was like 550 at one point. Um, and, and even higher down in mid Florida and lower Florida and in California, it was like $11 a gallon. Um, so, you know, it made it really hard for those that were working, um, to get fuel. They just couldn't afford to go to work, you know? And, uh, that's when everybody started kicking into the remote jobs because it was just worthless to attempt to go to work. If you couldn't have a paycheck, you know, so you couldn't get gas. Um, you know, it's just like, leave the car parked, but this, this was a wonderful option. Um, uh, you know, I mean, if you use it every single day, you know, unless you make a gigantic money and you can afford to pay $2.99 for every, you know, money transfer, uh, then go for it. But otherwise it's a good thing to have. Um, now I'm going to, I'm going to give you a list of companies that are using this. Um, first of all, there's over 250k people that use this. 250,000 people are using this service for their payroll check. And, um, so, uh, let's go over this list of businesses that are signed up with this. Um, so, if you're working for any of these companies... Uh, or intending on working for any of these companies, uh, you can click on my link. I'm going to put it in the description after this vlog and jump in there and set up your account. Um, so you'll be ready and you don't have to wait. Um, so, uh, 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 Outback Steakhouse. Dunkin' Donuts. McDonald's, MCDs, Walmart, ADP, Target, Captain D's, Burger King, Taco Bell, Kentucky Fried Chicken, KFC, Dollar Tree, Allied Universal, Target, Wendy's, Taco Bell, Pizza Hut, Five Guys Burgers, Applebee's, Arby's, Panera Bread, Kroger Grocery Store, Adeco, that's A-D-E-C-C-O, Sprinkles, I think that's the cupcake company that was on now. Uh, on uh, uh, Shark Tank. Um, Vera Bradley. Dial America. Let's see, Captain D's, I think I already said that. Family Dollar, HCA Healthcare, and the Hilton. Do you believe that? Thank you for the two thumbs up, guys. I appreciate it. 
You guys are awesome. Um, so that's pretty impressive. Um, and and you want to upload it on your own private Wi-Fi internet or your phone. Um, don't try not to use a public Wi-Fi. Um, no, it's not even a pay card. It, it's a banking system that works with these big companies and it loads your payroll up by the day into your account by showing you your current balance so far. Like, you know, for all that you've worked so far, when you sign up, it'll tell you. It automatically connects. And it'll say, okay, you've earned this much. But you can only take half out at a time. Um, so, uh, and then what it does is, um, you know, whatever's left that you don't take out, okay, by daily access or in a week or in three days or whatever, if you just keep withdrawing, 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 whatever is left, um, then that will come on your normal payday and be sent to your account for free. There won't be a two ninety nine charge. So say you have, you know, a two thousand dollar balance that's due you from your company, and it's before payday. So you go in there and you say, well, you know, I want five hundred of it, like right now. You know, in an hour or less, because you got a bill, you got a flat tire, whatever it is. Um, so you go in there and you cash out for whatever percentage you want. If you want, you know, 5% of that or 10% of that, 50% of that, whatever. Then you set your cash out and it sends it to your bank account. Um, and it can be the same account that you've got listed for your direct deposit at work. Or you can add another account on there if you like. And um, uh, it will send it to that account, okay, in, a, in, in 60 minutes or less. And then you have the money. And say, you know, you work three more days and you need more money. Well, you can go in there and do it again. And, and it'll give you half of your pay. It won't give you all of it. Because bear in mind, there's still taxes comes out and a little of the caca. But, you know, if you've got, you know, $400 worth of payroll, you know, before taxes, um, you know, it'll give you, you know, up to half of that at a time. And so it'll up the amount every time you go to work. It'll up the amount for whatever your employer adds in. So if you are... Yeah, and, and, and you know what it's really good for? Apparently, people are using the devil out of that cash advance thing. That, you know, Advance America and all that. Those those headhunters that want you to go in there and sign a, a document for a loan. And pay a huge interest to have, you know, an advance on your paycheck. You know? advanced payday loans and all that junk and it's it's knocking out 95 percent of their business because people are just getting a hold of their own money i didn't i went in there one time to ask one of those pay america whatever it is and they wanted so much money to do one little transfer like 200 dollars and I think it was like $65 charge or something. And I'm like, to get my own money? <laughs> what kind of advanced payday loan is that? That's huge money. That's like going to H&R Block and signing the bank loan to get your taxes right now instead of waiting the 14 days or less for the IRS to send you a check, you know. Um, that's, that's just lame. You know, you're throwing money away. I see people do it all the time. Oh, I got my taxes early. And it's like, yeah, because you paid three or $400 to the jokers of your own money. You signed a loan is what you got. 
the loan is guaranteeing that you get the tax money to them. So they'll turn around and give it to you, but they're going to charge you out the eyeballs for it. When you'd be better off just to wait, you know, for the money to come back from the IRS. And now they give you IRS card. They do direct deposits, you know, checks, all that. So um, I was hired for the IRS one time for tax tax time. Um, although I'm not a CPA and you don't have to be, I passed all their tests and everything in Memphis, Tennessee and was actually hired. Um, and you pay really, really high. If you ever need a, a cool, quick job at tax time, go to the IRS and go sign up with them and they pay really, really huge money. And you take a, a, a test, a real simple mathematics test and all that. And then, um, uh, you know, when you pass, then they say you're authorized. You know, you'll be in a room with about 60 people that are there to take the test, too. And you're just a short-time worker, and you make bank working for them. Um, plus, that's a good job reference. But, um, but, yeah, so it puts out all the people from going to all these advanced payday loan joints. Um, because this, the first, the first time you use it, it doesn't cost you any fee. This, the next time you use it, it's going to cost you $2.99. So every time you use it, it's going to cost you $2.99. If you withdraw every single day that you work, it's going to charge you $2.99. So you have to decide if it's worth it to you, you know. Uh, if you work some dollar joint or something and you're only making, you know, forty, fifty, sixty dollars a day and and you wanna pay two ninety nine to pull half of that out a day, I mean, it's not really worth it just to get thirty dollars and pay two ninety nine. So, um, but I mean, if you have got a bill and you need the money before payday, um you're authorized to get up to half of your money that's due you from the company. Like I say, the company registers all the info, automatic, boom, 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 and it updates constantly. Um, and then, you know, whatever money's left over, then that goes direct to your account for no charge to your bank account, deposit account, whatever it is. For zero charge, the balance of your pay will go there. And then you have to make arrangements like with the company you work for. Um, sometimes they can pull it up in the store on the computer and print it out for you of your, you know, withholdings, your hours and your rates and all that stuff in year to date. Just like, you know, your check stub. Um, it can be pulled up, you know, in some stores right there at the store you work at. I might as well show you how to pull all that up. Um, that way you don't lose that paycheck stub and they'll give you, you know, a Xerox copy of it off their system um so you know you're not gonna be totally blind on the deal um so uh you know because i worked for panda and those jokers i took i would have out of state driver's license worked it in florida and the jokers took out a hundred on my out of state and a hundred on florida so we're taking out two hundred dollars paycheck and like i was so done and I had to call corporate and everything else. And I'm like, why are you taking out $200 every paycheck? What is that for? And I'm like, well, you know, one's, you know, this state, one's this state. So, yeah, I have to see that. And that's lame. That is illegal. And I was so mad. I'm like, you need to be sending my money back. Um, and uh, they're like, oh, you can get it at the end of the year when you file taxes. You know what? You shouldn't be stealing double tax on me okay if I am working in another state I follow those tax rules for working you don't pull from the state that my, my ID or driver's license is in and then also pull from the state I work you're a jerk it's highly illegal um so uh yeah and no I didn't get that money back through the IRS at all um, and I ended up quitting them because I was so mad that they were pulling $200 a paycheck out on me. I was just furious. I've never seen anybody do that in my life. 
But anyway, so this this opportunity, it's a good option, this daily pay. Yeah, it, it really does. Um so uh um you know it's better than go to the pawn shop, pawn your stuff and all that other good stuff. Um you know, or you start a new job. They hold a week back. Uh, you um, uh, start a new job, and man, you like really need money. So, um, yeah, bills do, you know. So, it's a good opportunity. Um, I, you know, I wouldn't suggest taking money every single day out of it because, you know, in 30 days, it's two ninety nine a hit. You know, you're talking ninety dollars in a month. You just paid out for a service. So, you know, this is something you want to watch your balance, watch your balance, and then, you know, take a big chunk of it, you know, before payday, and and then the rest will go in after. But like I said, they only authorize like half at a time. So, they're making their money. Now, you, you don't have to pay anything to use the app, you know, to load it. Um, like a, a lot of apps... They'll make you buy the app for like 10 bucks or something. And you don't have to pay anything. I'm putting a link as soon as we finish this live blog. I'm going to put a link below so that you can click on it and then sign up direct. It's really simple. It's really quick. You could, you could probably sign it up in less than 60 seconds. Um, uh, and what you want to do is... Uh, uh, you know, it's a really good thing to have, okay, because if you end up going to work for any of these companies, you already got it set up. And um, uh, all they want is to know that the bank account routing number thing to send your deposit to. So there's no withdrawing stuff out of your account or anything like that. It's only as a deposit account to deposit your money. So, what will happen is when you click on the link, it'll take you to the app, and, and you know, you um, uh, download it on, onto your phone, or just use it direct from your computer. Um, it's actually faster on the computer, but you can still do it from your phone. It's totally encrypted, and um, it's called Daily Pay. They're going to ask you for email verification. So you put your email thing on there and they'll send you a little thing in the email and you do that verification. They want your your uh, cellular phone number, okay, your little car phone. They want that number and then what they're going to do is they're going to send you a code, a text code to your, your cell phone. And then you enter that in. You have your cell phone number listed on that account. You make up a password, and yes, it's going to be, a, you know, the jerk password of the year. The one with the one capital letter in it, and then, you know, one number in it, and then some character thing, you know, question mark, star, whatever you want to put in there. Um, and then it has to have a number in there, you know, like one, two, three, four, five, something. Um... And, uh, and then that's how your password is set up. And, it ha oh, it has to have one capital letter. Did I see that? In that password, too. Um, and then they're going to ask you the state you live in. Okay. And you just enter that state in. It's going to tell you it costs two ninety nine dollars fee each time you use it uh, for a... a you know, to move your money to your account. It's a service fee. But the first one right now is free. And I think the 15th one is free. And they don't charge you, they, you know, zero dollars, zero cents for the balance of your payroll if you don't take any more out. So you only do one in a month. You know, one in, in two weeks. Get paid every two weeks or every week on your normal payroll period. Say so you take out one in a week and you don't take out anymore. Well, then the money that's left, the 
of your payroll for that pay period with your company will be automatically sent to your bank account you've got listed on daily pay. And they don't charge you. They charge you zero dollars, zero cents to send balance of your payroll automatic on normal payday. Um, so it's a wonderful opportunity, you know. Um, I, I, you know, people are like, oh god, it's so expensive to use it for two ninety nine. Well, not if you got a bill to pay, um, or you need a tire. You know, you're sitting broke down. You need a tire. It's a wonderful opportunity. I will pay two two ninety nine to have a tire. Yes, I will. I will pay two dollars and ninety nine cents service fee. It's if I can move my money so I can buy a tire. You betcha. I would pay a ten dollar service fee so I could get a tire <laughs> from my payroll. You know what I mean? So. Um, yeah, it's, I think it's worth it if, if you have a bill or an emergency, you know, um, definitely, you know, uh, what if you're sick and, and you usually give your kid a ride from work or something and you can't do it. You just, just can't do it or you're in the emergency room. Hit that daily pay, boom. And then send them, you know, some Uber money or you know, gas money or whatever. Boom. Everything's okay. So, it's a real good opportunity. I'm really surprised at all the very large corporates that are using it. Um, because, again, I will say, you know, daily pay was, was a, a beginning option that I saw from the pandemic. And it was a wonderful opportunity because people were not going to work. They're like, oh, forget it. I don't have any payroll and I don't have any gas. Gas is five fifty a gallon or eleven dollars a gallon. You know, it's like why bother? I'm I'm broke before I go to work, you know. So uh, this solves a lot. It solves people from going to advance payday loans, whatever it is. It keeps them from going to pawn shop. A lot of things. Um, overdraft. You know, keep you from having to overdraft. Forty-five dollars for an overdraft or more for one. When you can just get daily pay and pay two ninety-nine to have it taken out of your own payroll from your company before payday. You can't get your whole paycheck before payday. They go like half at a time, half at a time. So it's a great opportunity. Um, a lot of big companies, like I say, are using it. If you're planning on working for these people, you work for them now. You need to click on the link that I'm going to put in my description box below this blog. And uh, go ahead and sign it up. Um, like I said, it's not going to be removing any money for your account. So you don't have to be worried about that. Because it's only made for deposit. It's only made to deposit the money from your payroll into your account. That's it. It doesn't withdraw anything. It just deposits. So, um, yeah. So, again, the app is free to load, uh, which is really great. And um, uh, it's really quick to fill it out. Boom, boom. Um, the ratings are absolutely terrible on the app. Uh, I don't know if it's just all unhappy people or what. Um I was just going to do it on a computer, um, just got done loading that app, and it was just so fast and so quick, and I did not use Wi-Fi. I just used the, the uh, internet from my phone, and it was just super fast, it was really impressive. It's probably one of the better apps that I've ever opened on my phone. It's easier to use than advanced auto parts. It's easier to use than PayPal. And it's easier to use than, than almost easier to use than just clicking on YouTube to watch a video. It's really quick. But, you know, it does verify. And it'll also do fingerprint verify if you want to for your sign-in. Um, the only thing about fingerprint ID and all that stuff, you know, like using that on your phone or whatever, if you die, nobody can get in your phone. 
So if it's an emergency, you know, your kids need to access your phone, you know, you're in the hospital and they need to pay the rent or whatever, they can get into your phone to move that money and pay some bills. Or, you know, if you die, they can, you know, say, well, you got hanging around, you know, <laughs> for bills or whatever that, you know, need to be paid. Um, so they can continue to drive the car for a minute while you're laying there on ice, you know what I mean? Um, so, um, you don't, uh, I, I'm not a big fan of those, those fingerprint deals and all that, you know, in the event that I die, so that, you know, somebody that I love, my kids, whatever, um, can access my stuff and keep up with everything and nothing gets lost from storages to, you know, whatever bills I pay. Um, my, I own all my cars, so I don't have car payments. But you wouldn't want to let my car insurance go because then they, you know, stop your title and stuff like that. That's a messy, messy deal. You know, just freaking make sure your car insurance is paid. Keep driving the damn car. You know, <laughs> and sign it over to yourself. You know, however you want to do it. But, you know, don't be giving my, way, my stuff away to the United States government. You know, because it takes a year to settle all that crap out. But, yeah, so, um, uh, it's a really great opportunity, and, um, I would definitely do it. Um, if you are working for any of those companies I listed, or you're considering getting employment with them, get that app now, set it up now, so it's ready to roll. And that way... You know, uh, it's like, bam, bam, already ready to roll. You know, first few days you work or the first week you work, you can move some money immediately with an already established account. So do check it out. I hope it helps you. And uh, I had to share that with you because I was really impressed at how quick. Now, I have not moved any money with it yet. I'll let you know about that too. Um, it's supposed to be like 60 minutes or less. And... Um, I would hook it up to an account that you get emails from your bank telling you there's been a deposit. That way you can see how fast it really is. Um, you know, like my regions account won't do that. You know, but two of my other commercial accounts will send me um, a text or an email letting me know there's been money removed or there's been money deposited. So, use an account where you can see a deposit coming in. So that, you you know, you know that money is just absolutely there. Um, you know, it's, some banks take minutes. PayPal takes just seconds. Um, and then, you know, regions <laughs> can be three days. Uh, and then they'll charge you extra money when it hits regions for money coming in. Um, you know, my brother sent me money once and... And they, he, he wired it. And they charged me a 30-something dollar wiring fee. At my bank. And he was like, now she's not going to get charged, is she, or anything. And they, and they told him no. But what happened was, I got charged for the transfer. To accept it through my bank. That, that's what my bank did. To my account. I didn't just like wait at the bank and to pick up the money. The money was wired to my account direct and I got charged like a $39 fee. And that was like so cold. But I mean, you know, I needed money. So yeah, but do check it out. It's really cool. Um, so the blog, oh, those people paid you. Um, well now my, my, uh, my little two penny job, my stupid job. Um, they hold a week back. Um, now, this other job, my main job, they, they just didn't do my paperwork the day I was hired like they were supposed to because it said on the paperwork that I did at work when I went by there again going, so what's the deal? Um, they're like, oh, here, here you, uh, you could do this stuff and we'll walk you through it. And it's so confusing, and it's like it's on Windows 5. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. 
I'm like, is this Windows 5? Um, and uh, uh, and they weren't sure, but it sure looked like it. But and the framework sure looked like it, and and it's so archaic. But you know that that information was not put in on time, and it said right there, opening page, it said, "This must be completed upon hire or within 48 hours of hire." And uh, no, it wasn't done that way. So it was like almost two weeks. And honestly, they didn't get it in time, you know. I mean, I think it was like Wednesday or Thursday. And I mean, like they're supposed to have all this stuff together by Friday? Uh, I guess not. You know. So, um, it, was, it was the screw up of management not doing their job properly by getting all this taken care of. When I was hired, um, or within 24 to 48 hours of being hired, it would already been set up, ready to roll, and and I would have had a payroll check um, uh, on a Wednesday, and all the others would have direct deposit Wednesday to their direct deposit accounts, and I got nothing because I didn't do my stuff in time, and they sent it overnight. And it probably did make it overnight, but they probably didn't check the mail and everything else because FedEx and UPS always do this thing where it's the last mile goes to the United States Postal Service. It's an agreement they made like back in 2004, something like that, where last mile goes to USPS. So, um, it was their fault. It truly was, but it cost me gigantic money for the late charges because it was just not in time and that's just not even fair so I just threw away you know um, uh, my pay you know a big piece of my pay because they were late and they should have paid me cash and let me sign the check when it arrived you know in lieu of my payroll check because um I had a debt that had to be paid, and I shouldn't have had to pay the late thing. And then I overdrafted two times previous to that to clear one of the storages, and um, you know, I mean, just totally put me in a bind all the way around. So, uh, and worse was Spirit Halloween. That's the biggest joke I had ever been through in my life. Over a month for my payroll, and they shorted it one hundred sixty dollars, and I had to wait over a week to get the rest. Are you kidding? That is just so unprofessional. It's just totally unprofessional. But anyway, um, but yeah, so do check this out. It's a great opportunity. I'm impressed. Really, I you know. But again, I'll do another review of how you know it moves the money and how quickly it does and that kind of thing. Um, but please do not, you know, load this app. For the link you're going to get um, over public Wi Fi. Even though it's all encrypted and all, so I wouldn't do it. Do it straight from your phone on your own Wi Fi at your house or straight on your internet stuff that's on your phone. So it's safe because it is a banking app that moves your payroll to your account. So you really want to keep that private. You know, like otherwise, seeing it, you know. But anyway, I hope you guys are having a great evening. I'm wore out tired. I worked with that banana head today. And he got a little snippy there for a minute. I stayed so far away from him. <laughs> Doing my own thing, man. Working my butt off today. And... I didn't want to ring up anything on the register. I just kind of carried people over there and dropped them off there. <laughs> and I was scared to. And I hadn't even told my boss in rent so I'm, I'm really weary. I work at the register for him because I feel a lot like that. Then he's going to turn around and say that I stole $1,000 or something. And he's like, no, we got video. 
I said, well, you know, just, you know, how do you solve the problem? That's the bottom line. How do you solve the problem? So, that was my way of solving it. But I was surprised he got snippy with me. He's just trying to be a jerk. You know? And it's, it's useless. Because it's being transferred by the same company to their home location. And um, he should be proud. You know what I mean? Don't be burning trails before you even make it up there. Yeah, but people, you know, are just like that. I mean, you know, it's like that one so-called boss at Crab Trap. What a jerk. I mean, they don't understand, you know, the laws and stuff when you're in management. You have to be really careful how you handle employees. From sexual harassment to harassment. You know, I'll cut. There's so much stuff. You know, I have to be really, really careful. And so, it's just so easy to sue the company. But, um, yeah, so, uh, um, he'll be gone. I don't know if it's the beginning of the next week or the end of the next week. I went to my manager, who's a minor. No offense, but. Still, you need to do your job. My job, my daughter could do her job better than her. In a heartbeat, my youngest daughter. She was managing at 15 and a half years old. That's right. 15 and a half when they told her, oh, she's too young. Yeah, well, she did the job better than her superiors. But she was also trained by some excellent, excellent people, all the district men of the company. Okay. Yeah. They were like her brothers. And, um, uh, great guys. Um, so she got the best training of all. Um, uh, and, um, uh, you know, this girl, I was like, so is the schedule ready yet? Oh, no, I haven't got to it. Now, is today not Friday? You know what I mean? End of the work week Sunday? I'm trying to figure out why we don't have a schedule. You know, because I'm trying to figure out what I've got to alert my other job immediately, you know, so that, you know, I won't screw up their darn schedule because I will be working probably my days off or parts of other days. And I, I have to have something on the schedule there, even though they let me come in seven days and nights a week. If I want to come in after my, you know, main job or whatever for an hour or two and help out, you know, other other than that, you know, work my shifts. So, I've been working um, three days at my main job and and then like um, uh, three booked days at my other job, my two penny job. And then the nights that I feel like it, I'll go after work. From my main job, I'm working an hour or two to go help them out before they close at the two penny job. So I get a few extra hours in, you know, because I'm trying to trying to get it to forty hours a week. You know what I mean? So um, if done a little bit more, but I'm beat. I'm totally beat. So. Uh, but it would be nice to give them some advance notice so they can, you know, make their schedule. Um, so they did. They did hire a checker the other day when I went to work at my two penny job, and uh, the one I call my stupid job. Um, but that's okay because it doesn't really affect me because I'm not doing the checker thing. I'm just doing the stupid job, being a stalker. So, um, it's not like, you know, that new hire is going to take hours from me because they were hired for something else. So it's okay. But, um, yeah. So anyway, we'll see what happens. Um, I did notice my little manager, like working on some kind of schedule right before she left. 
So I guess she figured out that, you know, it's probably a good time to get that schedule ready. Um, you know what I mean? So I just was interested to see how quick this other cat is rolling out. That they're shipping him out. So, you know, he might be leaving, you know, Monday. He might be leaving Friday. You know, he might be leaving the next Monday. I was just interested to see how many more shifts I got to work with him. Um, so I got one more this week. And then, um, see where we go from there. Because I've also got a pending house deal, too. And I need, um, revenue. I need regular revenue. Revenue, revenue. So, um, I'm just trying to see where I'm at there. So, other than that, that's about it. Uh, it was kind of slow today. And, um, uh, I did a ton of cleaning yesterday and today. That place is such a mess, I swear. Um, but, uh, gee whiz. I just pulled somebody over. Oh, my, my. I want to see if they're not a state tag. But Florida does not like temporary tags unless it's a Florida tag. I think the party's over. Um, because they, I was told they can literally impound your car. Um, uh, like if you buy a car in Florida and you don't get the, you know, $31 little temporary paper to go on there. Even if you're not a resident, they can impound your darn car on the highway. It's not like other states, you know, where you just buy the car, you got a title, your paperwork, you got 10 days to transfer it and all that. It's not like that in Florida. <laughs> not at all. It's well worth the $31 you could drive on the road to get to wherever you need to go. Um, I do love buying my cars in mid-Florida or lower. The cars are gorgeous. Um, they're, you know, like brand new, um, and you get a really good price, uh, you know, uh, because it's mostly older people that are trading their cars off and, um, uh, you know, to get a brand new car and you'll get a really decent car. But if you buy a private party, you got to go down to the DMV and get that $31 temporary. If you buy it through a real car lot, you get the guarantee on the car by law by the state of Florida. It's like a 30 or 60 day or something guarantee that the car is not a lemon. Um, and they have to honor it. If you want to bring the car back and it's a piece of caca, you can get your money back and stuff in Florida. No problem. It's a law. But you can get their little tag. That'll be included in the sale from the car dealership. And and they just, like, stuff that sucker on your car. Yep. So, um, do you want to get it one way or another? That's for sure. I don't know if you guys can see these blue lights that are, like, near me. Because they just pulled somebody over. <laughs> They're just flashing away. Um... I bet it's not for me. It's for this. It's, it looks like a dark, very dark color SUV. I'm not sure what color, if it's black or blue or green or what that is. It's hard to see because it's nighttime. But it's almost looking like they got a paper tag in the back of some sort. Or maybe a dealer, you know, the dealer advertisement in the license plate frame or something like that. That's not legit in Florida. They don't go for that too many. Um, but you don't see it. I don't mean it's bright. It's boom, 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 blue. Oh, I did see that guy, uh, today with that little camper thing that was, uh, last night with the fire department and paramedics and all that. I'm not sure exactly what it went on, but he had a really small child in his arms that did not look good today. That he was, you know, holding and, and rocking and stuff. So it may have been an emergency with the child. You know, maybe maybe it has seizures or something. Or got really sick with corona, who knows. 
um, I'm kind of thinking, you know, it might have been, you know, a kid emergency. And this kid was like, probably not walking age. I'm thinking, you know, like two or less. Um, uh, it wasn't a baby, but it was, you know, looking like two years old or just a little bit less. But it, it, the kid just kind of looked sick, you know. Um, so that may have been what that emergency was last night. Uh, so, um, I don't know. I mean, otherwise, it could have been somebody else entirely. Who knows? But I was kind of thinking that that kid and the way he was holding that baby and everything. That, that kid got real sick last night. So, yeah. But uh, other than that, it's kind of about it. Uh, it was, it was a hot day today at work. It was, you know, kind of, like a, kind of slow, peaceful day. Some very nice customers, a lot of tourists. Um, and, uh, um, I just was like, you should have seen me. I was like counting down the clock going, boy, I hope I get to go soon. I hope I get to go soon. Because I just want to go and clock out and leave. And not hang out for closing but I, I didn't want to clock out before my time um yeah because i just want to be totally away from this cat as much as i can you know so i don't know but anyway i'll let you guys know what happens tomorrow and i'm gonna finish putting information on this vlog so that people can use it and uh, uh, I hope you have a really great evening and I'm tired I need to go nighty night night and um, yes I found my my St. Michael necklace yay I don't know if you guys saw the notation I made but I was really sad to be going to work without it especially around this joker um, that I work with because um, the St. Michael's a really great thing for uh, uh, keeping the evil away. And I'll explain more to you about that another time. <laughs> it doesn't work well around the evil. So, yeah. Um, but anyway, hope you guys have a good one. Do something kind for a stranger. Love everybody. Too much of a good thing is wonderful. We'll take lots and lots of that. And uh, do check out this daily pay thing. I'm going to load it here in a minute. So it'll be on the description box of the vlog. And um, you can click on the link there if you want to get in there and sign them up. Um, so you'll have it. This is a wonderful thing. So no more action again. Glad it was you, Bob. Uh, uh, and hope I have a good night. Yeah, I, I have a good night now because guess what? I found my necklace this morning. Um, about an hour after I got to work because I was still like wigging out without it. And I was like, man, I just, I just cannot go to work without my necklace protecting me. Yeah, you know what I did? I started pulling out blankets and and in sleeping bags and shaking them and rolled it up in a ball took another one out and shook it and rolled it up in a ball and then looked and there it was laying there just laying there and i was like oh my gosh so i, I, I took it off and i laid it on something in the car i guess when I went to go to sleep. Because I'm afraid to sleep in it. I've done it, but I'm afraid it choke me to death and kill me. Because um, I flip-flop around because it's too painful on my back. But yeah, and so I um, uh, uh, took it off and laid it somewhere. I must have kicked it off in the middle of the night or, you know, knocked it down or something. And it got wrapped up in all my covers. I guess, but I was so sad of my, I thought, boy, what if I took it off before I went to sleep, had it in my lap, got out of the car, and it hit the ground, you know what I mean? Oh, I was like, no, 
but no, it was okay. I did find it. I was so glad because I've had this chain since like oh two. I ordered it overseas. It's a big heavy gold chain. You know, I, I got it really cheap back then with gold being real high. But um this is my Saint Michael. See how big my chain is? So, yeah. So, I was like waking. Yeah. Because I can't afford to buy another one. I just can't. But, um, not right now. <laughs> I know St. Michael's. The problem is that I ordered three of these chains. And I, I think I, I sold one or kept one for resale that was stolen in the other storages. And then I gave one to a friend of mine that helped me out a few times um, with cash or food some years ago um, with my daughter. And uh, when I needed it, I'd go on through my really crappy divorce um, that I sued him for. <laughs> um it wasn't Cadillacs and fur coats now. It was just to get that stuff on paper. That's all I really needed. Um, and uh, I, and then I ordered one for me to see if I would like it when it arrived. And it was better than what they advertised. And I ordered it from overseas. I got three of them. And I still have this one. And I'm so excited. I just, but I don't, I don't even know if I have any record anymore because I had it in my file cabinets that were in the storages that were stolen but so I, I probably have to go through PayPal and look back in the history or something because I've had three different PayPal accounts I may have ordered it off a different one um so um from th for three different businesses um and so uh I don't know if it's on my main account or not because I don't use those other accounts anymore and surely they're closed um, so I don't even know if I could find the, the people I bought it from, the company I bought it from, because I bought them wholesale. So, yeah, from overseas, so, um, yeah. So, and I kind of like the chain, it's pretty cool. At least it's heavy enough to hold the pendant without destroying it, because the pendant's so big, if the weight's too much, and it'll wear a chain out or break it. But, yeah, so... I just, I took it off and laid it, slipped off, or I might, I might have kicked it off in my sleep, or knocked it off in the middle of the night waking up, because I do that a lot. Um, you know, you hear noises and stuff, and you get up, and sometimes you can't go right back to sleep. I drink some water, you know, I might watch a short YouTube thing. I mean, it is just terrible not getting regular sleep. So, um, yeah. But anyway, it was a blessing today. I found my, my cool necklace. And you now I feel much better. <laughs> it keeps the evil away. Trust me. Yes. You can walk in the middle of two people arguing and it'll stop when they look at that necklace. It's really interesting. It's St. Michael, the Archangel, the lead warrior into battle. Okay. Big long story. And I'll tell you guys about that later. Unless I've already told you on YouTube before. I may have already done a vlog about it. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of history to it. Yeah. And it works for me. That's all I can say. It works for me. And it can work for you too. I do sell St. Michael's. Anyway, I hope you guys have a great one. I love you so much. Thanks for coming and hanging out with me. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. I love you.